what to expect when your parents die, or in this case, when the last one who was still around has died. Well, I'm four days into that story. It started on Monday. It's Thursday evening now, and I can tell you it's exhausting. On Monday, it was the surprise, the shock. Organizing things because cards had to go straight away. They had to be printed the next day and, and sent to people. So it's arranging stuff. And at the same time, I was still busy processing it. So I posted something online on Monday night and I have to say lots and lots of people answered. Uh, even still today, which was very sweet. I'm, I'm very happy about it and it really helped me process it. I, I can't say anything else. Lots of friends reached out to me. I, I got to talk to them. and Whereas I initially felt a guilt trip and to a, a degree still do. I'm also aware that it's not that I I knew. I mean, if I knew, I would have been there. It's not like I was never there because I was there at least once a week and often like four times a week, just not this particular day. So ever since it's an emotional roller coaster that, like I said, that was specifically the first couple of days. And even now I can actually be like, you know, at, at, at a specific moment, all of a sudden it's like the tears want to come flooding or sometimes it's just like this sound that's as if it needs to come out. But I looked at my email and now I can actually see what's been going on because before the weekend, or, leave, or better said, um, there was this huge weekend with an event from Ted McGrath, which was started on Thursday and it ended on Sunday, uh, US time. And that, that's one of the reasons why I didn't go there. In fact, it was one of the major reasons. There was something else going on, but he had really, really good footage over there. And well, I'm trying to get back in the game because it was so valuable. It has been the most valuable thing up till now. And that, that's, I don't know, it's, it's one of the main reasons I didn't go, because it was so good. And I guess the timing is good, because now, well, it feels like I need to do it on my own. Well, I've got a brother and a sister, and my brother and I have grown really close over the last couple of months. I, I, really, I reached out to him, I said, I cannot do it alone. I need your help. And well, he has come to understand how I communicate. I'm not very subtle anymore nowadays. It just doesn't work, not with my life and not if I want to get things across, um, which is okay when it comes to my brother, but when it comes to my sister, we are, ooh, we are really butting heads. And the last couple of days, she really had me screaming. And I guess that's the emotions too, but also the surprise. Like, what are you thinking? Um, I mean, one day she says that she thought I literally had done nothing while I've been running, you know, all day long. And not just for my mom. I mean, I, I help out my clients too. So there, there's a lot going on. And oh, today, you know, when my 
when my mom was still around, my dad died first, and which was nine years ago. And he had a toy store, which was pretty cool. And I don't know, at some point we decided to continue on with the toy store. So today my sister told me, well, dad had said he, uh, we had to sell everything and put it on marketplace. And uh, well, it, yeah, you going on, that, that, that was a no-go. That's not what he would have wanted. Oh, okay. And you know what the, 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 the one from, uh, um, I'm looking for the right word, the one who is in charge with all the stuff around the, the, the morgue and all that stuff. And the grave. Um, yeah, I guess it's the graveyard worker. Not sure. Well, uh, yeah, so that everything that, that has been agreed upon, that, that, that stops the moment someone dies. Okay. It was something new to me too. But apparently all the hurt now comes out. You know, and my mama had warned me that that would happen, and she's right. So in the process, uh, I just got to watch the footage from that eventful day, what happened on Sunday, when I was sitting on the stairs wondering if I had to go, go see her. And on Monday too, uh, well, on Monday I wasn't thinking about it at all. On Monday I was just like, oh, I need to help out one client. And, you know, I was also counting on, <laughs> I was also counting on my brother to tell me what the camera footage said. And, well, you know, when, when my father died, it was such a different story. We were all there. You know, I, I had the same feeling when it came to my dad. You know, this is the last Christmas, won't take long, blah, 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 blah. Which was true. And in that, that week, I knew it's going to end. And well, that was true. So... It, it was all of a sudden with my dad, I mean, with my mom, you could see she was going downhill. With my dad, um, yeah, there was a battle going on and off, but the hospital was what seemed in control, but in, in reality, they were not. And yeah, so in the end, um, we had the GP coming over and, well, actually we had paramedics come over and, well, they already told us it wasn't good and within 48 hours it was over and done with. But we were there, you know, that, that was the cool thing, we were there. And I, I don't remember that my dad said I want to die at home. He was happy we were, he was surrounded by all of us. And you could see he was grateful still in that last minute. And with my mom, we weren't there, you know. And although we spent a lot of time with her, especially in these last couple of months, You know, I would wish have wished for her differently, but then again, I also know that just like my dad, I I I would have called the doctors and, and the paramedics and said do something. Well, maybe not even do something about it, but you know, um, it it was like when they found her, the people who were taking care of her, the, the new ones, by the way, who started that, that same day, they were wondering, do I need to revive her or not? And, and that was one of the things that, that I realized, like, 
I, I would have moved heaven and earth in order to, to get her saved. So everybody said it's going to be pure chaos and, and they're right, it's pure chaos. Um, and it's to a degree, things are starting to normalize again. But then again, it's today, for instance, well, no, yesterday, yesterday I was there and I was there till late and I checked, you know, all the tiny little notes as in what was written down, whose name, all that stuff. And then I checked some cupboards like, oh, that's interesting. Blah, 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 blah. And I left it because I wanted to discuss it with my brother and sister. And today I came in and they already had these huge pile of trash bags and they put all the stuff in there, including stuff I actually wanted to keep. And that was, you know, like, it was a shock. And then, of course, my sister and I got in a fight about not opening the toy store up again. And honestly, with COVID and all, it, 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 it slowly died this year already, so... You know, but it's it is my my last straw to my father. It's my connection to him because when I got there, it was his place. And you know, when I walked around like that first day, I was like, oh, I don't want to too much to change. So part of me wanted to wrap things up, and part of me didn't. And then you see the difference in process because I can basically go there every day. But my brother and sister cannot. And well, all of the two is already done with it all. So just wants to clean the house. And yeah, I'm maybe because I'm I was the one who got there most. I I still try to cherish it. I'm I'm also more, you know, emotionally involved, I suppose. So yes, it's 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 weird, and because they they had such an old age, um, there there are not many people around anymore for them. Oh, though there were people from the neighborhood and neighbors, of course, and also people who visited the store. So it was nice to be there today at uh, at the morgue and actually see. Hey, they brought flowers, so, um, but yeah, you know, sorting things out, getting rid of the old stuff, getting rid of everything that, that might um, go bad, you know, sandwiches, all that stuff, just to name a few things. Yeah, of course that needs to go, and well, my my mom and dad they they basically kept all the stuff until you you really couldn't use it anymore, so that that's what what happened too. Uh, well, anyway, uh, today we had to arrange the the service for in the church, and I didn't want to be the one responsible for it. In the end, I. I was the one they were talking to most, which is not that unusual. And it actually felt good for all of us to talk a little bit about my mom and how we wanted it. And I guess that, that there was more peace between the three of us because we did so. Well, my brother made... Uh, my dinner, so we sat at the dinner table afterwards, which was nice too. We took some pictures, you know, it's all pictures nowadays, pictures of her lying there at some more pictures of, okay, this is what it looks like before we take things down. And okay, this is probably the last time that, that we'll be eating together. Those kind of pictures. Which is good because it helps when dealing with stuff, but wow. 
And if I think about what made the most impression on me, I guess all the, the reactions, I got over 100 reactions from people, whether it was hearts or compassion, but there were equally as much responses. And I'm flabbergasted, really. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed and you know that really helped. It really, really helped. So this thing with the butterflies behind me is actually something that um, <laughs> that was a project of mine with kids from uh, elementary school. Uh, they were going in business and I helped them out. So my brother was about to throw it away and I was, oh, hang on, I know what this is. You're not going to throw this away. And that's weird, you know, I'm, I'm basically taking back and the others too, what we ever gave them as presents, as far as it's still around. Yeah, and yeah, it's, you know, it's almost like we're taking things down as if they never were there. But then again, I also know that if I drive by the first house, you know, it's not the same anymore. And, you know, so many times I've said goodbye when working somewhere else that I knew I need to do it, you know, let it sink in and take stuff out, you know, very consciously take pictures. And yeah, of course I did. But there is a sense of urgency because I, I also want to prove to my parents like, see, I did this, especially to my dad. He was he was the businessman. He was the entrepreneur. And but my mom has helped me tremendously over this time too. And I think we we really bonded the last couple of years. So that was good. That was good. And even though she doesn't resemble herself anymore when I see her at the morgue. Um, the Undertaker, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Um, it's nice to strike her hair and to hold her hands. That still feels, feels the same, even though it's a bit cold. Um, I've been looking up all these old pictures, which is cool too, you know, like a little album. And going back from now to back in the days, you can really see the difference. And she had her diaries and she would write things down in her diary. And it's interesting to read that back. Um, nothing new, actually. It was just hurtful to see that in that weekend that I didn't go. You know, on Saturday there was like no one. But then again... She didn't even write down when I would come, you know, every once in a while there would be, you know, the first initial of my name, but that was it because she was, she was so used to me coming over. And, you know, I also counted on it that when she really needed it, that, that she would actually pick up the phone and call me and then I would come, you know, that's, that's what I did. I didn't mind if she called, you know, uh, I understand that she was lonely. The question is, how often do you go? And I decided that I also had a life besides going to my mom, the, the responsibility for my own clients, and then also to my for my own growth and my own health. But yeah, it's... Uh, I know this is by far not the end of it, but I'm trying to document this process you know, one step at a time. I I believe on Monday I was still capable of recording videos. Tuesday, I don't know what happened. Wednesday, I recorded a very short video as in yesterday when I left over there. And today I, I wanted, would like to to have stayed a little bit longer, but someone was in the disability spot, the parking spot where I normally park, 
and well i can't walk long distances so i was fine okay let's stick to the curfew uh that means i don't have to make any exception so that was likely for the better but it's weird because it's like i was in this this, this flow and then suddenly it poof, it stops and i'm trying to to engage myself when people go live and I, I know it's important to say, okay, I did this. This was the weekend. Now let's continue on. So um, I'm going to ask my friends in a little bit to help me get going again. My fellow entrepreneurs. And, um, you know, continue on because I, I was really in the flow. I was really getting there. And it would be a shame if, yeah, if, if you got rid of that, you know? So, the one thing is, though, that my concentration is, is going down the hill. Like yesterday, I was calculating something, uh, a new rate, new hourly rate, and... Whereas I had the answer, I just, for some reason, my mind couldn't comprehend it anymore. And that's what I'm noticing too right now. That, you know, um, even though it's sort of early for me, I, 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 I fall asleep and then, ah, oh, okay, then I'm awake again and then I sort of fall asleep. So, yeah, I recorded this fit. And I'm not sure if I'm going to post it. Maybe I am. I mean, people are allowed to to see my journey throughout this all. I'm not ashamed of it. And yeah, hopefully it will help someone else too. I don't know when the good timing is for this. I just know that I am certainly not the only one and you know the stories of other people has helped me out so far and that's that's kind of cool so this is going to be continued my story about my mom I'm going to write her life story not today <laughs> I'm too tired for this today uh, but yeah I'm going to do so and just, just maybe I can get some other stuff done too. We'll see. So stay tuned and I'll give you an update.